welcome to the channel the practical study guys today we are going to learn that how we can calculate pi total fractional head for this video we are not going to use any type of chart we will solve this problem by using formulas before moving ahead it is to request you please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more interesting videos we use three type of formulas in computing pi total fractional head one is Reynolds number and Reynolds number is equal to rho Vd upon mu where rho is the density of fluid in case of water its value is 997 kg per meter cube V is the velocity of pipe D is the inner diameter of pipe and mu is the dynamic viscosity and for water its value is 0 0.000891 kg per meter second second formula we will use for laminar flow if Reynolds number is less than 2300 the frictional factor will be equal to 64 upon Reynolds number and third and last formula which we will use is darcy westberg equation it says that the total head will be equal to multiple of frictional factor length upon diameter of pipe plus sum of all k values what is k values k values is the manufacturer data regarding the material of pipe if we are using the galvanized iron pipe then its elbow its t its wells values will be mentioned in the manufacturer data so we will sum all the fitting values which we use in our problem v is the velocity of fluid and g is the acceleration due to gravity that's value is 9.8 meter per second square so i hope uh, this is clear now we move to the our problem to understand how we can use these all formulas to compute pi frictional head let's suppose we have a tank this is a overhead tank and it is filled with water a pipe of diameter 2 inches or you can say 0 0.05 meter is going to the ground floor now this is the gate valve this is also a gate valve I am using one elbow, two elbow, three elbow, four elbow and five elbows the length of this pipe is 10 meter this pipe 20 meter again 10 meter 5 meter 5 meter after the ball there is small piece of pipe 2 meter and this is only 1 meter the flow rate of water is point triple 4 times 0 6 meter cube per second because I need flow rate in meter cube per second we will learn why we require in meter cube per second okay we are using two type of fittings one is elbow and second is valve the k value for elbow according to the galvanized iron manufacturer data is 0.3 and k value of gate valve according to the manufacturer data is 0.1 if we find the total length of the pipe that is 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1 then the total length of the pipe will be 30 40 45 50 53 meters I hope guys we have cleared all the problems now what is our purpose we need to calculate pipe total frictional head so these all values or we have or we have these all values given data now first of all what we need to calculate according to our Reynolds number formula first we apply Reynolds number that is rho vd upon mu rho is the constant value 
we know mu is constant value we know diameter we already know but we didn't know velocity so first we will find velocity velocity is equal to flow rate per unit area flow rate we have already given 0.4 times 0 6 divided by area area we know that pi by 4 multiply by diameter square and the diameter is 0 0.05 meter so solving this what we get we get 0 0.001962 so our velocity will be after dividing these two values we will get 0 0.030 meter per second so this is our velocity so <coughs> First, we write down velocity here, 0 0.030. Now, we can find Reynolds number because all values are now known. So, density value is 997. Velocity, we have find out, 0 0.030. Diameter, we have already known, 0 0.05. And kinematic viscosity, we know its value is for water, 891. So, by solving this, we get... 1678 which is less than 2300 that means our flow is laminar for turbulent flow if value is greater than 2300 then friction factor formula will be changed we will discuss we will discuss in our upcoming videos so the null number we have find out so we can write the values here velocity we find 0 0.030 Reynold number we find 1678 now second what we need we need frictional factor that is 64 upon re so 64 upon 1678 so friction factor by dividing this we get 0.038 so what friction vector we have get 0 0.0381 now applying the darcy vesper equation to find the total dynamic head that is equal to f l upon t plus sum of all k values and v square upon 2g first we find the sum of k the sum of k we have five elbows and each elbow k value we already given each elbow k value is 0.3 plus we have two valves and each valve k value is 0.1 so by solving this we get 1.5 plus 0.2 so 1.7 is sum of k so we get sum of k 1.7 so now all values we have no all values are known right now f is equal to 0 0.0381 length of the pipe is 53 meter as we calculated in earlier diameter is 0 0.05 summation of k 1.7 velocity we have already calculated 0 0.03 divide by 2 and gravitational acceleration is 9.8 so by solving this we get 4 times 0 0.4591 and by solving this we get 42.086 so our head will be uh, frictional head will be 0 0.00193 meter so guys this was our total frictional head by darcy vesper equation now we need to find the total dynamic head so total for total dynamic head we know that the total dynamic head is equal to frictional head plus vertical head And if we uh, memorize our drawing, 
then it was like this this was 20 meter and uh, this was 5 meter so the total vertical height was 25 meter so for total dynamic height we will add frictional head plus vertical head so we will get 25.00193 meter total dynamic head i hope guys you like this video if you like this video please share in your comments and subscribe our channel thank you so much